Hi, you've reached Court from Court's Crafts, and today I am going to show you how I am going to recover this birdhouse and make it into something cute. I'm actually turning it into a ladybug house. Recently, we got a bunch of ladybugs because I found aphids on my uh, citrus tree. So, anyway, they need a place to stay, and apparently, if you make a ladybug house, they'll stay inside and stay in your garden longer. I'll be using uh, Echo Park's Country Drive today and a little bit of Little Girl, just this pattern paper from Little Girl. Now the first thing I did was measure out the sides um, and create all of the sides, cut them out with pattern paper. So this is ready to go. I'll show you how I'm going to Mod Podge this later and this will be the pattern for the sides. I think it'll come out super cute. I inked the edges just of the front one to give it just a little more dimension um, and used my X-Acto knife to get the ring out of the middle. The next thing there was to do was to create what the roof was going to look like and I decided on a scalloped border. So this one I already have done and now we're going to do the other side on the video. How I did it was I cut out a bunch of these strips and I just measured the distance across, which was a little over four and a half inches, and I cut a bunch of them out with my die cut machine. Then I cut out a piece of paper that was exactly the size of the roof, and as you can see, I made one side super sticky. So now I'll show you how I just started with the bottom and layered them on top. So what I'm looking for here in my first ones, because they'll serve as my guide, is that the middle part of this lines up the middle part of this lines up with the middle part of the bottom of the circle. Because as we go back and forth, we'll want those to continue lining up to look like a scallop border. I consider doing all of this with cut out circles, and you can do it that way. Um, this just was going to be faster for me to just do the half circles. So now you can see I've pulled out my Your Story trimmer, paper trimmer, and I'm going to flip the finished project over because I want it to be flush. And I'll just line it up and chop off all the little edges. Make sure they're all off. Flip it around. As you can see, now we have the other side of our roof, all scalloped. See how easy that was? It was so quick. Okay, next I'm going to show you how we're going to embellish the front. So I decided my birdhouse needed a little more pizzazz than just the pattern paper, so I wanted to add some flowers and leaf decorations to the front. So I cut some of these out using my Cricut Cartridge Flower Shop, and I am just going to roll them up, and I will show you how to do that now. You just insert the edge of it, whichever side you want showing is the side that you want up. You insert it into your petal roller and hold tight. The 
You don't have to go all the way, that's fine. And the hard thing is you're going to pull it right off and you want to go. I'm just going to go ahead and shape it here. And then I'm going to add some adhesive to this bottom little pad and I will stick it right on. When I'm done, it will look like this blue one that I did. These are the same size and I cut one a different, a different edge a little larger out of yellow. Then I will put them probably something like that. I cut out two little leaves. Isn't it darling? And then I'll probably add some ribbon or some twine. And that will be the front of my birdhouse. Lastly, they have these great stickers on Country Drive. And I decided since it's a ladybug house, I actually wanted to represent. So I'm going to use this ladybug right here. But you can't have it sticky back. So you just go ahead and apply it. This is just some spare paper, scrap paper, fussy cut around the edge. trim that up. There's my finished little bug. He will end up going probably right here with a little foam dot. Well, I might stick him in the flowers, we'll see. So that'll be what my bird cage looks uh my bird house looks like, excuse me. And I was going to do this on camera, but I think I'm gonna do it off. I'm gonna go ahead and use Mod Podge. Sorry my friend decorated it. I think it's really cute though. <laughs> Uh, she gave it to me, and I'm going to Mod Podge the whole thing to try to help it stay waterproofed and extra sticky. And then I will use um, a finishing spray. I'll be using this sealer finisher and mat, and I'll spray the whole thing down with a bunch of coats. Well, I'll have my husband do it because I'm pregnant, and good thing you have hubbies around. And that will be the end of my project, and I'll take some pictures and put them at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you participate in Shop Pumpkin Spice Challenge for National Scrapbook Day. Thanks, and have a beautiful day.